Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul Neal, your host, as always. And uh, I'm basically here to speak to you about the Republic of Ireland's friendly game against New Zealand on Thursday evening. Uh, I am alone for this video because Gary's currently in Greece. He was there for the women's national team's game today against Greece, which they obviously drew one all. Um, so he's currently there enjoying a beer right now and uh, I'm here to speak to you about uh, New Zealand. They haven't played a game in I think it's 18 months. They, um, they're not a team that really strike, me, uh, strike fear in me but I suppose we'll kick things off by talking about the players that they have that may cause us problems and obviously the one that comes to mind is Chris Wood at Burnley. Now obviously we have Kevin Long, Jeff Hendrick and Robbie Brady, who all play for Burnley, so they'd be used to what he's like. The likelihood is Kevin Long's probably going to come up against him. He's, he'll, he'll know how to play against him from training with him day in, day out. I'm sure the, the likelihood is Sean Dyche is working on set pieces all the time, and they have each other playing against each other. I, I would imagine if, um, you know, if I was Sean Dyche, I'd be playing him against each other. It is what it is. Uh, but he's an old type centre forward, thrives off the likes of set pieces and so on. I'm sure most people will be familiar with him out more than anybody in that squad. And um, you know, he's he's a decent enough striker, but he's no better than what we have. Um, if I'm being honest, and as I say, he's uh, he's not really one that strikes fear into me. I think if we, if we can just keep him quiet and don't let him bring other players into play. I think um, I think he'll have a quiet game if I'm honest. But uh, then on to Winston Reid um, from West Ham. Interesting one. This he he's been out since March 2018, but before that he was a very very good defender. I remember there was a lot of clubs looking to sign him uh, around the time when Dimitri Payet was playing for West Ham. A lot of clubs were looking to get Winston Reid in. You know, a lot of clubs were highly rating him. And uh, he's obviously suffered setbacks with injuries now. Probably not the same player he was. Um, he had a bad knee injury. But um, this will be his first game since March, obviously, 2018. So I think it's a chance that if he does play, that someone like Troy Parrott um, could maybe exploit you know, the spaces that he may open up because he's obviously not going to be as sharp as you know he would have been when he was playing week in, week out at West Ham. He was a regular the moment he's, he just can't get a look in but his manager pretty much said well, where I read anyway that he, he, should, he shouldn't have a problem playing and uh, the likelihood is he will play so um, I, look it's a, it's a friendly that I think both sides are looking forward to just giving players a run so uh, then on to Tommy Smith then who would have played at Ipswich and Mick McCarthy would have known all about him he's currently playing for Colorado Rapids 27 appearances 3 goals um, again, not a player that really strikes fear to you, but he's a one that probably fans would be familiar with more than more than others. But again, he's not really one that strikes fear into me, and I think I think we we will keep him quiet. Uh, then you're moving on to Sarpreet Singh. Um, he plays for Bayern Munich. His parents were both Indian, so that, that's where the name comes from. But um, he. Had six appearances in pre-season for Bayern Munich and I remember watching him and I thought this fella was actually quite good because uh, I remember Ryan Johansson was playing a couple of those games as well so he kind of caught the eye but he hasn't made any Bundesliga appearances. He's been playing for the second team in uh, in Bayern which play in the third division of Germany but he has 11 matches and he's got four goals and five assists so Obviously, he, he's a very good player. He's skillful. Uh, he's trickery. Uh, he can score goals. And he has assists in his locker as well. But I think as well, you know, um, we, we close him down. Keep tight on him. I think, I think we'll be fine. Because they don't really have a lot of, you know, flair players around the, around the park. I mean, a lot of our players are playing in the A-League or Holland. Now, it's funny enough, obviously, we, we talk about, you know, Dan Crowley and uh, Jack Byrne as players have gone to Holland so I think those types of players will, will know what they're all about um, but then there's two lads that play in the Eredivisie and there's one's Ryan Thomas at PSV is a central midfielder with two Eredivisie appearances this season and one Europa League appearance and look um, he must be decent if he's getting into the PSV midfield but then again 
he's not exactly someone I fear. I think we keep him, close him down, we keep it tight. I don't I don't really see him doing much. Uh, and then lastly, they have an interesting one. It's uh, James McGarry, a left back, who um, is actually, well, w- would have been eligible for Ireland. Um, he's got his other citizenship is uh, is New Zealand and Ireland. So there you go. He plays for Willem too. He's a left back. He's got one error to visit appearance this season. So um, from their point of view, you'd be thinking, oh, okay, well, you know, this is a game to test out our new players and see that how they how they get on because they haven't played a game in so long. But from my perspective, I think it's a game that we should be going out there and um, using it as a game to experiment and see how young players do at international level. New Zealand aren't exactly Denmark, you know, so why not give these lads a chance and see how they get on and play play a team with a bit of mixed experience and a bit of a bit of youth as well, you know, mix it up. But there's no point in playing someone that you're gonna play on Monday night and not let a, uh, not let a young kid play. Because I think the likelihood is Mick McCarthy is going to play Troy Parrott and Leo Connor and Jack Byrne all at some stage. He says, but why not start? Why not just give them 70 minutes and bring on whoever you want then for the last few minutes? Um, I just think that's a that's a better case scenario from an Irish point of view. And uh, like... I think this is a game we should be going out there and trying to spank them like the Bulgaria game. I, 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 I'd probably predict a similar score. I think that um, I think the likes of John Egan and, and that should be rested. I think our best players should be rested. And I think, as I say, it's a chance for the fringe players to make a case to be in the match day squad because obviously we know Jack Burns were left out of that match day squad a few times. And uh, I can't imagine that being a nice feeling. So, again, it could be a chance for, for Jack to to stake a claim in there you know I do think that I think it's going to be a case where if he gets moved to England he'll be in the squad permanently and I think he'll be making match day squads and probably featuring more regularly but I think it's for Jack it's more about finding the right move if he is to go personally I love having him here in Ireland because we get to go and watch him most weeks and he's he's just different level you know but he seems happy at home but I think the likelihood is that Mick McCarthy uh, doesn't seem to trust him in big games and has him in there to to play him in friendlies and stuff like that, but doesn't seem to want to take a risk to put him into the match day squad. I know you have to have two keepers in there, but like, um, is he any worse than I don't know Alan Brown? I haven't seen Alan Brown do anything to make me think, you know, you, he should be starting games. Um, I don't think Alan, Alan Brown's bad, by the way. I just don't. I, he hasn't done it for me in an Irish shirt. He's much better for Preston. He obviously plays more regularly for Preston. But for me, um, I'd like to see Jack probably start this game and I'd like to see him get a foothold of the game like he did against Bulgaria and um, getting him on the ball, getting him spraying passes because I think that would open up the New Zealand defence and especially, as I said, Winston Reid, who hasn't played a game in since March 2018. So, you know, that's a long, long time. And, um, yeah... I think overall, I think it's going to be 3-0 and uh, I think James Collins will score. I think Troy Parrott will score and I think that um, someone like maybe Callum Robinson coming off the bench and just sealing sealing the victory or maybe Robbie Brady from a free kick. But uh, that's been my match preview anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, We'll have plenty more press conferences and stuff. We had a press conference today with Robbie Brady and Alan Judge. And then uh, then tomorrow we've got a couple more press conferences as well. So make sure you check them out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to like the video because it helps the channel grow. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll speak to you all soon. Come on, you boys in green.